We're now going to write code to make the dragon fly away when we press the letter F. Now I'm going to let you finish, but we're going to write the shortest method of all time. So click on the button in the top left of the code editor pane, then select baby dragon at the bottom, and click add baby dragon procedure. Call it fly, and then click OK. A new tab will pop up, and we're just going to drop in one statement to make the dragon move up. So select move and drag that into the code editor pane and then select up 10 meters. And that's it. This method is done. The dragon will fly up without even flapping his wings. So now to make the dragon fly when we press F, we'll use what we call an event. Click on the Initialize Event Listeners tab at the top of the code editor panel because it's adventure time! Events tell the program when to execute code. We see that there's some code already here. This means that when the scene is activated, or when we press Run, the program does my first method. We can change what happens when we click Run to do anything we want, but we won't worry about that now. To make a new event, click Add Event Listener. We want something to happen when we press F, so go under Keyboard to find Add Key Press Listener. A new event will appear, but it doesn't do anything yet. We want the event to execute if we press F. So find where it says if in the control tiles at the bottom. Drag the if tile to where it says drop statement here in your new event. And now this new coding block, once you select true, will say that if something is true, then we execute the code in the first section. Else, or otherwise, we execute the code in the second section. To make things clear, find the tile E is key in your event. Drag it over the box where it says true in the first statement. Select letters A through Z, and then select F. Now things make a little bit more sense. Basically what this says is that if the key that we pressed was F, then we'll execute any code that's in the first place where it says drop statement here. Otherwise, if it wasn't F, then we'll execute whatever is in the other drop statement here. We're not going to put anything in it. Now when we press F, we want the dragon to fly. So select this dot baby dragon from the object dropdown on the left. Now you'll see at the top that the method that we created fly is right there. So you can just click on that and drag it into where it says drop statement here in the first part of your if statement. Now when we click run, click inside the window. Anytime we press F, the dragon will fly into the air. It's better to do it once the dragon has appeared, but it would work at any time because we don't have any condition on it. Unfortunately, we don't have the witch move to the dragon right now, so the dragon just dishes the witch, which doesn't seem so bad if she's evil, but it is something that we definitely should change. So in the next video, we'll learn how to give objects a vehicle, and we'll give the witch her dragon. For now, just close your scene view, and then go to File, Save.